Shocking news for every Hololife fan, VTuber aficionado, VTuber themselves. It was a shock to me when I read this at 11 p.m. last night. Yozaramel has been uh, terminated from Hololife. From what they have said, which I'm going to show down below right here. From what they have said here, it was amicable. It was mutual, which means that she knew that she did something wrong. So here's what it says. We get to announce that January 16, 2024, we have terminated the virtual YouTuber master agreement uh, with Yozora Mel of Hololive. It has been confirmed that Yozora Mel had been engaging in acts that violated her contract by leaking information that she acquired from the company to third parties. As a result, we have determined that it has become difficult to continue managing and supporting her and with agreement from the talent, we have elected to make this decision. And basically after that, it's saying that she will have her uh, channel terminated at the end of February. So they're giving her quite a bit of time, which shows you that it was an amicable one. It wasn't like what happened with Rusia in 2022, where it was an almost immediate destruction of all of her stuff. This is more that uh, we wish we didn't have to do this, but this is something with NDA. And NDAs are ironclad in Japan. It is like codified into law. You think that they're a little bit strong over here? They are extremely strong, so much so that they could actually sue you hard for going against an NDA and for leaking anything. So what I think it was is that it was an unintentional leak from what it shows. And I'll show you why I think so. And she really felt bad for doing what happened. And this is why I think so. This is her message to her fans that they allowed her to do. This was after she was terminated that she was allowed to make this announcement to her fans. This was 12.50 a.m. on January 16th after the suspension, after she was terminated fully, her contract was done. They allowed her to make this, this uh, commentary, this whole, you know, goodbye to her fans, which tells you both sides didn't want this, but the law is the law and they can't be, you know, wishy-washy and showing favoritism and showing these types of things for any of their talents because then it could be bad for people who are doing sponsorships with them and people who like Niji Sanji and them and anyone else could say, hey, but you did this to Rushia. Why are you not doing this to this? You're going to have more haters, more antis, and you're going to show that you're weak when it comes to and untrustworthy when it comes to NDAs, like distributing them. So this is a translated note that someone was very kind to do of what she said. And I quote, to everyone, I sincerely apologize for causing anxiety and discomfort to many people due to this incident. I deeply regret my careless actions, which shows that it was just a mistake. It was a mistake, but you know, the law is the law. We have discussed it with management and it has been resolved. He kindly gave me permission to publish this text, which means that his her manager, Yago, the CEO of Hololive, Tanigo Yago, I, th I think his name is, he allowed her, the CEO allowed her to make this, uh, this onto her Twitter. I am filled with regret that I had had to say goodbye in this way to everyone who took care of me. I had a dream that I wanted to make come true with all of the Kapumi. I'm sorry I couldn't keep my promise, but that doesn't mean the memories I have with the Kapumi and Hollow Mem will disappear. I will never forget this. I'm always watching over everyone. I love you forever. Thank you for what you have done. And I'm really sorry. Yozura Mel. The fact that they let her do this, as this commentary says down here below, the fact that they let her do this means that this was as amicable, amicable as a contract termination for NDA reasons could ever be. No one that has been terminated before gets to make this type of thing, usually. Not even in the small corpos. You're terminated, you're gone. You're not, you're not allowed to do these things. This is why I think even Yago... Achan, they all didn't want her to go. They all have positive things to say when she was leaving, too. The fact that they let her do this, like I said again, I'm repeating myself, says a lot about Cover Corp, says a lot about Yago, the CEO, says a lot about the management of Cover Corp, how they are humans, too. They just had to do this. Now, what we're going to go through here is something that she herself wrote to her, well, the people here. Um, I'm going to try to expand this as best I can so that it's a little bit bigger for each and every one of us to read. And this is about as big as it's going to go, but I'm going to read it all to you guys. It says, for Mel's hollow relationship stream last night, 
Mel to Calliope. It's fun to sing together. You're cute and you're a shy person, Mel. I like when you asked when you heard Coco Sensei and ASMR voice. Mel to Kiara. You're good at following up. I want to hang out with you more. And also do more collabs. Mel to Inasuke. I thank you for inviting me out to your 3D stream. Mel to Gura. I love your original song and I added it to my playlist. Mel to Amelia. I'm so happy that it came to my 3D stream and you invited me to yours. Mel to Iris. The Monjiaki the other day was so good. I have, haven't have gotten the chance to collab with you properly, so I want to. She had so many things that she wanted to do. So many things. I, it's, it's That's the big shame here. She just had so much that she had planned for the future. Tafana. And she said to, to Iris, I will invite you soon. It's She's so good at Japanese, and the Monjiaki was also good. Monjiaki. Tafana, your voice is so soothing. Let's make the ASMR collab promise a real thing soon. So she had she had wanted to do an ASMR collab with Fauna. Crony, your voice is so cool. I haven't had the chance to interact with you yet. She wanted to interact with Crony. This is the relationship stream that she had. The relationship she wanted to have with each and every hollow mem that she can think of. Mume, we did a collab singing on your birthday. This time I want to sing with you live. To Bay, we exchanged line contact and the Moriaki and Monajiaki. Monjiaki, Monjiaki, and Escape Room were so fun. Let's go together again. Last year, you couldn't collab, so this year for sure. 2024, for sure, that's what she wanted. Come to Japan quick for Shiori. Haven't talked to her. It might be the same as the, the, the other Halloween girls. Uh, to Shiori, let's get along. I want to know more about what kind of girl you are. To Bibu, I was so surprised at how good games at games you are. She was like a baby that's good at playing games. Things like this. To Nerissa, I listen to your singing a lot. You are so cool. Should I say something about her not wearing panties? I want to know more about her. To Fuwawa, your voice is soothing and always polite. You are so cute. To Mokoko, cute and lively. Thank you for singing my original song. So these are the things, the message that she wrote to those people that she wanted to interact more with. And that's the painful part. The fact that she wanted to have all these interactions and she never will because of what just happened. Now, moving along. He says, from Fubuki's stream, according to them, they were already aware of Mel's termination since last night. NDAs can take a day to process, and Mel still streamed yesterday. What's sadder is her stream yesterday was literally a letter to everyone in Hololive. She knew it was the end. What they're saying is that by this time, she already knew that this was going to be her last stream. Yet they still allowed her to do it, and she wanted to say her goodbye in her own way. Which is is sad for many reasons, and talents don't get to say this. Talents don't get to do this usually, so it is a big thing. She wrote something, I hope I can make lots of memories with everyone this year. She had big, big wishes for Hollow Fest, for all the other things that were going to pop up in the future. She really, really wanted this to be something in the future. She was starting to get her groove back after sexual harassment thing that happened in her in her past. All these things that happened, she was starting to get her groove back. And it really does suck that this happened. Then we have Neo, which had this one, of course, which is a sad moment. Uh, Tyler, not Taylor, for some reason, is there. Yours at ML, third talent in Hollow Life, first to debut using Live 2D, first to debut as part of a generation in over five years. Thank you for making your fans smile. And yes, she made a lot of people smile. And keep your head up for anybody who is sad about this. She is going to do well. Uh, every single one of these girls is very strong. That's why they were chosen for Hollow Life. Every single one of these girls knows what they're doing. She's gonna do well, and so is Hollow Life. Don't blame Hollow Life. Don't go on a on a freaking witch hunt against Hollow Life. Don't, you know, just take it as it is. Remember the good memories, and be kind to yourselves. Show yourself lots of love. Let me know down below what you think. Let me know your ideas on this whole thing. Let me know what you're thinking. In this whole process, I I was heartbroken by Matsuri crying, Fubuki crying, Akiroze crying, and Hachama being sad. They were like a close knit. Every generation is a close knit group for the and this this group for the five years they were the the pioneers pretty much after Sora and Miko they were the pioneers of this. They were the first official generation of this first Life 2D all this kind of stuff. It hurts to see this happen, but we will go forward. Once again, this is the Matt Salvi.
thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you. Take a look at the other videos that are on your screen right now and have a wonderful day. Also, you know, stuff down in the description below of my socials and stuff. I appreciate if you take a look. Thank you. Bye-bye.